It's the Midweek Roundup. Folks, welcome to another Midweek Roundup. Joined again with Rob today. Super excited to have him with us. That's better. That was a much better intro than much, last time. Much better, yeah. Felt, felt more infused this week. Yeah, yeah. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> you know, I was only teasing the previous week. Right, let's have a look. Christian Fulcher's already painted up his taster set, been uh, shipping those out of the warehouse. It's been fantastic to see how many people are getting involved and jumping into Armada. Um, don't forget, you do only have to end of today to pick one of these up before they're gone forever. They sail off into the sunset. I think I was waiting to well, get a pun it's in. It's been lovely having you guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> and talking of Armada. Chris Parallo has been doing his Kraken as well. It's a fantastic model. He, he did say it's not often you get an excuse to use purple. So, uh, fantastic purple Kraken. Been a Night Stalker fan. I use purple all the time, but it is uh, one of the lesser used colours for maybe certain armies. And uh, It's, it's really, definitely really for job. Armada as well, this one. I mean, it's only got a blue base, I guess. Yeah, it's on, it's on, the, uh, on the mat and uh, found it on the Fanatics page, the okay. Armada Fanatics page on Facebook. So, if you... Uh, Ever want any hobby tips and, and that from the community? That's a great place to go. I really like the sort of bloody more. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't want to face that, would you? If you and your absolutely play. not. No, no, no. <laughs> that's cool. And this is wow. absolutely fantastic from uh, Brutal Deluxe Painting on Instagram. I saw some of his uh, commandos a few weeks back, and uh, he's now done his captain as well. Just uh, a, bit, a few more finishing touches on the bases. I think he said that to do, but. Uh, Already, it's uh, absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, the, the skin is... But I, I know, I don't even know, Johnny, but I paint quite a lot of green skin. Do you? Yeah, wow. yeah. Um, but that, that skin really pops really yeah. nice. It's really good. Uh, and the black as well. Black's so difficult to yeah. do to get it to get the highlights. But that that is absolutely fantastic. I can't yeah, wait to see it done with the base as yeah. well. I particularly like the, uh, like they say, the, the black in the, in the clothing. Yeah, yeah. It really looks like... Uh, the sort of the leather you'd expect that looks beaten and, yeah. and a bit uh, a bit bashed up in in the war. Yeah, this is really cool. He's he's done some more as well, and he's got yeah. So he's he's done the uh, the commandos previously wow. as well, okay, which great. are really nice as well. Oh, yeah. good to see them all together. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Yeah. Be uh, be interesting to see where he goes with the bases as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm. chef's kiss. <laughs> you said that like a little, you know, your favourite to get Johnny's kiss. He, mm, that's not so like like a Paul Hollywood handshake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Craig McCarthy has been making his own uh, Beast of Nature. He's used the uh, Frost Fang and the Abyssal Fiend Wings, I believe those are. Mm. It's uh, absolutely fantastic, that, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, what I like about Kings of War is when people go, OK, I want to use a Mantic model. Yes, you know, isn't that the best way to do it, right? Yeah. Uh, and they kind of get creative and do things like this. And this is really good. It's, you know, it's like, reminds me of a bit ago, we had a, a herd army, which was all... Um, abyssal heads, I think, on oh, what was it? It was like a, it was different heads, or it was like centaur heads on abyssal bodies or something oh, like okay. that. Yeah, which really worked, which actually yeah. really works really well. And this is the same thing, you know. He's obviously been creative yeah. and done something. Yeah, I mean, my my favorite part of the hobby is conversions and, and mm. you know taking a couple of models and making them slightly different and that sort of thing. So when I saw this, I thought that's uh, yeah, that's, that's great. great. Yeah. yeah, really effective actually. So uh, and then onto some rebs. Mm, nice. We'll go rebs. You've got, to say, you've, you've got to officially say that when you talk about Rebs, according to Brian Novak, so... Woo, go Rebs! There we go. There we That'll go. make him happy now. There we go. Uh, this is Hurl's uh, efforts. Absolutely fantastic. Similar sort of uh, way of doing the skin as the mm. uh, the Orc previously. Yeah. Um, the sort of the, the really uh, heavy highlights. Mm. Um, really, really nice work. Yeah, so you've got the two uh, standard kind of Grogans on the yeah. left and the right from you know the Rebs set, and then you've also got the Eric... From Star Saga, yeah, who's on Mantic points. I he believe. is, yeah, he's a Mantic points model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah nice that really because not a model I've seen painted up that much actually. So it's really cool. to No, see and, them. and not in in oranges like that. Yeah. Well, it's often been the blues that yeah, yeah. we've already had in in the uh, the studio model. Yeah. Yeah. Great little squad that. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Well, goblins, it's... not green though. It's our first goblin, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost like you've looked it's, ahead, Johnny. It's, it's almost like I've already seen what's coming. Yeah, yeah. Um, or that we were talking about green skin earlier. Oh, I suppose. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I've been following John's progress, actually, because he's been posting a lot of the Marauders. Yeah. And yeah, like I say, that red skin tone. I think he did some uh, skyscrapers a while back. Yes, yeah. Really, really good. And it's nice seeing all tint. I mean, like I joked about painting a lot of green, but actually red skin tones work really well yeah, nice, for, it, yeah. 
for goblins and yep. for and for orcs as well. So this is really good. So yep. I'm I'm enjoying seeing John's army coming yeah. together and yeah, it's a really good work in progress. Yeah, it? it'd be, it'd be great to see. Yeah, yeah, finished. Yeah, fantastic. And then I did have to do a double take when I first saw this. I did think that someone had stolen our studio model. No. Nah. It's uh, it's smashing, isn't it? This is uh, Dan Bird's Halfling Iron Beast. It's uh, really, really well done. I love, love those sort of non-metallic metals and the rusts and yeah. everything on it. It's another one I've been following Dan's progress. Yeah. He's been posting quite a lot of pics of this one. It's th and it seems like when he just posts a leg, you're like, wow, that yeah. leg looks great. So actually to see it all like this is, is amazing. Yeah. I mean, I, oh, I've, I've handed out my chef's kiss earlier on. So <laughs> can I can I retract? Well, can I give another chef's kiss I, out? I think you can have more than one. Okay. Yeah. Mwah. This is lovely. I mean, it'd be more apt for a chef's kiss when there is oh, yeah. two chefs two on top. chefs riding on the top. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I mean, this generally looks so close to the studio one. Yeah. It's it's really good. It's probably one of the best um, Iron Beasts I've seen, actually. Yeah. yeah, it's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, Joshua Crady has done his uh, Asterion Kirichroma. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is a uh, really nice, uh, nice paint scheme. It's unusual to see... Uh, Sort of pastel pinks. Yeah, I sort of like that. It reminds me a bit of uh, Chris Calburn's red Asterians at yeah. Easton as well. And they look really, I, I, I like that sort of red, those kind of colours yeah. of the Asterians, a bit different to the, particularly the studio ones. Yeah. So this is good. And he's, he's gone really to town on the base there, very grassy and yeah, I mean, the, a lot of tufts. The base looks so realistic, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and lastly, one more goblin for you. Thank you. I appreciate the amount yeah. of goblins in this week. It's a hundred percent more goblins than, uh, well, two hundred percent more goblins yeah, yeah, than the yeah, previous video. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I really like. I mean, this is one of my favourite models that we do anyway. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's got so much character, hasn't it? Yeah, and I think actually the move to, to resin for the stump bolt or bolts, yeah, is brilliant. You know, it really because I, I had a metal one and I had the resin one, and actually the amount of detail on the resin one is fantastic. Yeah. You just yeah. really miss out on a lot of that, particularly for the bolts himself mm. when you've opened up the cockpit. Yeah, yeah great. I'm a big fan of this model. It's, uh, it's also moving to resin uh, gives you a bit more option as well. Talk about converting earlier. Mm. There's uh, somebody came into the shop uh, recently and he said that he's managed to drill three hinges back of the helmet oh, yeah. and pin it with a piece of like metal rod. Right. So that his helmet oh, is nice. actually uh, yeah, yeah. engine open, which I cool. think is fantastic. And I might, yeah. might well steal that at some point. Yeah, no, that is good. I, I really like this model, and Kev's done a good job of this one. Yeah, yeah. So fantastic. I'm used to seeing Kev doing plague, so it's a nice change. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there we go. That's uh, it for this week. I've been some fantastic painted models, some some good works in progress that we're excited to uh, to see finished, see finalised, some some basing to add to a few, and uh, hopefully a lot more next week as well. Don't forget to use the hashtags MyMantic on any social media if you want to be featured. Thanks again to Rob for joining me this week. My pleasure, Johnny. No worries. See you again soon.